Christina um, started going to the bathroom a lot more than normal. She was three years old and so uh, my wife called the pediatrician and frankly we had no idea what diabetes was and uh, we found out that there was a small group of parents in here and they were trying to find the cure for diabetes so we uh, contacted them during uh, that time dr Mins was there and dr alejandro was there and they indicated that they were having a lot of problems having some of the equipment that they needed to conduct experiments made by the University of Miami. So uh, I approached Dr. Mina and says, look, we have a machine shop, we manufacture bottles. I'm pretty sure that we can uh, help you with some of the uh, things that you need. When we discussed what they were trying to do, transplanting just the cells that produce insulin, I thought that that was a very good idea. And they already referred to uh, Dr. Ricordi that he had been successful extracting cells using this system. We try to build the Ricordi chamber from scratch and to find companies interested to help us in this uh, direction, but we were unable to find anyone that was willing to produce it. It was thanks to Ramon Po that we started producing the first chambers that were done with very good technology. Once Dr. Ricordi came to Miami, we started making quite a bit more of the equipment for them. We said we should uh, create a different entity to work with these devices. We came up with the name BioRep. And uh, it was just the beginning of an amazing series of equipment that uh, were produced that is like way beyond the recorded chamber and it continues today. To be able to think of something or a new concept and be able to work with an engineer that can transform and uh, find a solution that is a dream come true for, for any scientist. All of BioRep's equipment initiate from the Diabetes Research Institute. I mean, we're not scientists at the core of BioRep, we're engineers, we're a manufacturing company. So all the biology and science behind the ideas come from them. With Dr. Ricordi coming up with ways of separating the cells in a gentle way. With Dr. Tomei coming up with the cell encapsulator. She called us one day, said, look, can you come to the DRI? I would like to work on a project. So we go, we, we visit, we meet with her. It all starts with a napkin sketch. For us, it's been critical. Thanks to the devices that they have helped us produce, we were able to, to, to publish great papers, uh, raise funds to support the research and being able to actually do the experiments which are very promising. Recently the company that manufactured the silicone bottom for us decided they no longer wanted to manufacture it. So BioRep immediately came to us, we came to them, they took up the slack so that we can continue manufacture and now importantly the distribution of the devices to other labs. We get a lot of calls from different universities and research centers around the world. I mean, we've shipped to over 35 different countries now. The technology developed at the DRI. I could not imagine doing anything of what we have developed or performed in the past three decades without uh, BioRep involvement. Not only in Miami, but because throughout the center of the DRI Federation and worldwide, they have been distributing this uh, precious equipment to everyone that wants to join the fight and try to develop a cure. And BioRep's commitment to help researchers find a cure for type 1 diabetes is always at the forefront of in our minds, it's in our mission statement. It means a lot to be helping uh, cure a disease. It's, it's very rewarding. But what excites me the most is when they get good results. When they call back and say, we tried this thing on, and you know we may need a little modification here and there, but we like very much what we're doing. And when I can see that uh, the uh, effort that we put into it is helping, is, is very satisfying. My daughter has been taking care, fairly good care lately, but she still has to live with the injections and the testing and never know when she's gonna get into a low or a high. So it will be a great thing for our family if the cure is found. We have put a lot of time into it and a lot of money too. We just said, this is something we have to do and we do it. We all have the dream of finding the cure.